Welcome to Ride Along With Me. It's cute. There's just one little cloud up there. Let me turn you around. See it? Isn't it cute? <laughs> anyway, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev and welcome to my channel. Now you may have seen a video today from yesterday where Bob and I went uh, down to Mexico, our last trip of, of this season, and I'm done with my teeth, yes! Whoopsie, they did lower the speed limit along here. But I still had some things I need to do because the last two weeks I didn't get to do one of these because, as you know, I had fallen and cracked a rib. <laughs> And I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> so, um, I'm feeling pretty good now. I mean, yeah, it's still there. I, I know it's there. <laughs> you know, if I'll move certain ways. But, you know, I'm at least able to get around uh, a little more comfortably. And I did take on a leave today before I left so that hopefully my back won't, won't start in too bad. But anyway, what's on the agenda for today? Well, you can probably guess... <laughs> Goodwill, though it isn't senior, Tuesday, senior day, I thought, well, I'm out, I might as well go over there because I'm doing everything on this side of, of town. From there, I will go through CVS and pick up a prescription and then up to, then to Dollar Tree and then finally to Walmart. So that's the plan for today. Well, what do you think of my haircut? <laughs> I'll know better I, I thought it looked cute last night when I went to bed but I'll know better when I wash it myself and uh, do my normal I was, I was pretty happy with the gal I mean for only nine bucks I guess I made a mistake yesterday when I told you twenty dollars it was fifteen we got two haircuts Where did he come up with 15? If his was 7, and mine was 9, 9, 8, 7, 16. No, I was right yesterday. He actually made a mistake. <laughs> Those of you who know Bob know he doesn't often make mistakes. <laughs> so, uh, Callie's upset because I'm leaving again. She's laying on her back, stretching all out. <laughs> it was cute when we got home yesterday. I've, I've often talked about Mr. Socky. It's that one sock she loves. How she'll move it from the, you know, the living room to the bedroom at night. She'll always go get it at night after I get into the bed. And she'll walk in the room and go, Meh. and I look and she drops it. <laughs> and the same thing if she brings it out to the, the living room. Well, anyway, lately she's been moving it into the living room when we leave her alone. <laughs> Because she doesn't move it in every day. So sure enough, we get home yesterday. There's the Saki <laughs> laying in the living room. And a lot of times she's back on our bed, though, or laying on my flip flops if I, you know, haven't didn't wear my flip flops. I, uh, I did, whoops! I put my turn signal on by mistake. <laughs> so such a smart cat! Wow. Well, I thought maybe today wouldn't be as crowded at Goodwill because it's worse, you know, as you know, on uh, uh, Tuesdays when us greedy seniors here in Seniorville <laughs> go shopping. So, I'm not sure if this will be my last time. We've got a month, or you know, well, about three weeks. The 18th, we're going, heading for home. And I'll be stopping and seeing my daughter in Vegas. And we've, uh, she's planning on two, two of our favorite Goodwills and maybe a TJ Maxx for us to go to because Grandma can't do all the ones like she and I used to do over two or three days. We'd hit so many stores. I, I can't do it this year. I'm sorry. Oh, looks like I got a place in the front. Oh, there's many places. Good. Looking good. Oh, handicap. No wonder. <laughs> shocks. Shocks. I should get a handicap thing. I could because of my weird illnesses. 
but I feel like same for the people who are really, 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 you know, handy, really badly handicapped. Look at him. I am right in front of the doors. <laughs> Can you believe that? So anyway, that's why I don't have one. But man, I may have to start getting them. The woman in the car next to me like, this must be asleep. <laughs> I hope. So, we're here. Let me turn off the car, go in. And... I'm not looking for anything specific, so we'll see if I find anything. Be right back. Okay, half an hour or so later, I'm back. I didn't think I'd find anything. <laughs> I did. $50 worth, so you know I had to have bought quite a few things. <laughs> I actually found four bottoms. You know, like crop pants, that kind of thing. And one shirt. And then three little pottery things that were all $4.99 each, so. The color today was green, but I didn't see anything with a green tag on it, so. But I feel pretty good about what I bought, because if they don't fit me, the bottoms, I'll just bring them right back here. I know I can return them, but I'm too lazy to do that, for one thing. And I figure by returning them, somebody else can get a good buy on them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, by uh, giving them back to them that way. They're making more money off them. I know that they make a lot of money off people's things, but... <sighs> what the heck? What can I say? <sighs> Wasn't too crowded in there. In fact, I did finally end up going back and getting a basket, because, you know, I usually don't. <laughs> I brought my big bag in with me, but... I was making clothes, you know, the uh, four pants that were kind of awkward and heavy to move around. Those were the first things I, I picked up, so I uh, went back and got a basket. You know what I'm having a hard time finding in there, though, is like men's t-shirts or, you know, pullover shirts. And extra, extra large. They must have them mixed in. I, I've looked in the large area, but who wants to go through the whole extra large section to try to find uh, a few extra larges? Now, you can't tell me with all the big men that are around here that they don't get more extra, extra larges. So, I didn't find anything for Bobby. So I'll just right up the street here is CVS. Now this is the drug that I mentioned last week. <laughs> that when I went in, she said, uh, Medicaid or your insurance doesn't cover this anymore. And this is the generic one, right? So I said, well, how much is it? It'd be uh, 300 and something dollars. So I said, well, then what would the brand name one cost? <laughs> 30. That doesn't make sense that a brand name is less than the generic. I gotta go figure this out somewhere. <laughs> oh, what time is it? 1.42. Oh, they're not open yet. <sighs> I'll have to come back. I forget they close from 1.30 to 2. <laughs> so we'll go up to Dollar Tree first. <laughs> so anyway, it's a medication that I'm not sure I need. It's for asthma, but I don't feel any different when I use it. I mean, I haven't used it for several days now, and I don't feel any different. So I've got all my doctor appointments set up for when I get home, and I'm going to really quiz some of them on, is this really necessary? Because <laughs> I don't like to take drugs. Okay. <laughs> comes up fast. Somebody doing a car wash today. We just got our car washed last night. So I don't need that. Okay, I'm going to place right in the front. There's a Dollar General right next door here, but this is the one that whenever I've gone into it, it's so messy. 
And then with things you read lately, you know, they're fine with some of them. <laughs> if I'm going to go to one at all, it'd be the one on the other side of the freeway that just opened during the summer. So I will return. And I am back. I didn't buy too much. I think it only came to, I don't know, about $22, if that's right, even right. <laughs> of course, I got <laughs> I had to get my peeps. I only get yellow ones now because of what I've been reading about the dye and stuff that they put in all the co other color ones. But I'm hungry. So. Huh. It's funny. This woman just came out the door and I'm talking to you guys and smiling. She looks and smiles back. <laughs> right in the sun. My little back pad is not in the right spot. <laughs> but when we get in the line over here, I'll, I'll fix it. Okay. Who honked? Somebody honked. Okay, well, I don't see anybody. <laughs> little red spot on my cheek. So I need to put that little rosacea medicine I got, had gotten one time. Here, I'm turning. I'm riding down the turning lane. <laughs> Just about two minutes after two, so. <laughs> There's other things I could get in there, but I think I'm gonna go to, to uh, Walmart. I'd rather go there to get the, the stuff. Okay, let's go around and get in the line. So far, my body is okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to make it through Walmart, but that'll be about it. Whew. I'm gonna fix this so I'm gonna put you on hold a minute. Okay, I'm gonna back seats fixed. I set these in the sun just for a little bit of time. And they're already kind of hard, you know, a little hard on the outside like they get. But I don't mind them that way. Now we have a couple of birthdays coming up this weekend. Bob's daughter. His birthday is on Saturday, and my middle child, son, is on Sunday. Which uh Gosh, he's going to be 52? I guess so. <laughs> I can never keep track of, of he and my daughters, what ages they'll be. <laughs> now, my uh, my oldest one, I can, because I know it was right, you know, before I turned 20 that I had him. So I know I always, you know, like he's 54, I'm 74. It's easy, but... Mm. Then last week, on the 15th, we had Michelle's husband's birthday, and the 13th would have been my mom's birthday. <laughs> I mean, still has birthday on earth. <laughs> And in April, we have Bob's birthday on the 11th and his brother's. 
and uh, his brother's wife's on the fourth. My this one deceased brother is the sixteenth of April, which is also the anniversary of my end date for employment. <laughs> and twenty second is my other brother. Well, a lot of birthdays these two months. You ever wonder what takes some people so long to just get their prescriptions? <laughs> yeah. Hasn't moved since I got in line. Really hot today. It's 81 in the car. So spring has definitely sprung. Usually it's, uh, a lot of times it's in the 90s around this time when we're getting ready to leave to go home. So right now it's starting to clear out of snowbirds. They start leaving in March, various dates, and then big influx leave like on April 1st, which is how we used to. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this whole package of Keeps eating while I'm waiting. <laughs> we used to, when there were more bushes along over there, along that one wall, see kitty cats who we'd be waiting in line. We still haven't met the kitty cat that comes to our place during the night. Oh, here we go. I, uh, I named her Judy. <laughs> so we've been putting a little bit of food out there every night, hoping that maybe if we're out there this Saturday night, maybe she'll come walking up. You know, she will realize by now, oh, these people are okay. <laughs> they like cats. peeps left. So now I've got the, the one that's up at the window and then a big Tahoe in front of me, a big black Tahoe. I can see I wouldn't want one of those. They're too big. My God. <laughs> I'm getting in and out of this one. It looks like he's got bigger tires on it. And, uh, and then me. I'm hoping this will be the last of the medications that I need to pick up before we head home. Of course, then we head home. After I'm home, I get to go through the transferring them all again back up to Washington. I'm going to put you back on hold until I'm getting close to Walmart. I'm, I'm back. I was just thinking. I watched that Oprah special the other night on the uh, the weight weight loss drugs that everybody's starting to take, and how oh boy they just look like they lose weight so well and so fast. And it, and I've been curious, <laughs> and so it was very interesting. I was talking about the brain and how some of the people like me. All they think about is food. When am I going to have my next meal while they're eating the current meal? And, you know, it's just it's different things with the brain. And so when you take these drugs, you, your, uh, your brain kind of changes from thinking that way. Which sounds cool, you know. The only thing is, you've got to take them for the rest of your these little shots for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, if you stop, your brain's going to go back to this 
old way of thinking. Now, I don't know if I misunderstood what she said. That's entirely possible. But boy, I'm sure having a hard time losing weight. Isn't that all you're thinking? Well, you just ate some peeps. No wonder. <laughs> but I really have cut back my eating a lot. But I haven't been able to do the exercising I wanted to do because of my damn ribs. So, uh, I don't think I would take the uh, the drugs. Plus, most prescription plans don't cover it. <laughs> so, you'd be on this thing the rest of your life. Now, for me, it could be maybe uh, 15 years in the most, maybe. I don't know. But for a young person, that's a lot of years to be giving yourself the little shots, you know. <sighs> but... When I do go for my yearly checkup with the, with the, what I call the dumb, dummy doctor, <laughs> I'll have my list of things to ask him. And one of the things will be that, because he was very large himself. And last year he had problems with a, a blockage or something uh, uh, in his colon or somewhere. And he had to have surgery and he lost a lot of weight. So I know he understands about trying to lose weight, but. <laughs> I'll just see what he says. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, here just a little bit ago, I'm talking about how I want to try to get off some of the medications I'm on. I'm only on like three. <laughs> three or four prescription ones. But, uh, I don't know. I, I hate being on because I feel like the, the side effects are so bad, you know, that most of them. Oh, and that's one of the things, the side effects with those weight loss drugs. They can make you feel nauseous. Oh, God, you know. I feel that way a lot anyway, but I don't want to have extreme nausea. They can give you diarrhea because it works through your your gastrointestinal system. Well, I've got so many issues with my system. <laughs> oh, dear. What to do, what to do, what to do. As I say, a lot of times, it's not that you don't have willpower. Because that's, you know, that's why so many people, when they lose weight, like they're, you know, like cutting back on eating, exercise, and all that. The minute they start eating a little bit more like they're normally used to eating, you know, but, but, but still watching what they eat, the weight comes back on. Which is why I especially concentrate on trying to lose weight when there's an occasion coming up. <laughs> I don't know. I, why do we have to go do this stuff? There's a sign. Who is Jesus? It says, read Matthew's Gospel. Part of the math and Mark, Luke, and John group. <laughs> I know he is. It's just interesting some of the billboard signs you see along here. One is advertises this off the charts place, and they've got a happy hour list and all this stuff. Well, what it's for is for um, um, CBD or you know marijuana and pot and stuff. <laughs> There's a street I normally would turn on to go up to my house. but I'm sure it will be if I base it on how the traffic's still looking. <laughs> a lot of snowbirds are still down here. Now, when I went through our park today before, as I was leaving, and there was a lot of the RVs have left. And there's been various people posting on Facebook saying, you know, bye for the summer. And it's been, been fun, you know, hanging around with everybody and, you know, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of people who are heading out. 
We still have the real noisy truck in front of us. They're still here, but otherwise a couple of them that were across from us have left. Oops. What'd they do up there? Looks like they've got the road all crossed now, but right in front of the store. They must be redoing it. That means I gotta turn down one of these rows, which I had planned on anyway. There's a place right in the end there that this car just pulled out. But, oh, there's a tow truck blocking there. Okay, well, that won't work. I'd rather face east. They're not in the sun. What's that? Is that an empty spot? You never know till you almost get up to them. They could be, uh, oh, no, nope, that's the, the cart place. Gosh. Oh, dear. Well, I'll go down this next row where the tow truck was. Looks like there's several through there. Starting to see more RVs parked in Walmart parking lots at the back, you know, to load up on stuff that they're heading out with. Okay, let's see which is the, let's just pull in. Up right here. Okay, under a tree. Alrighty. Well, I've got quite a few things to get, so I'll be a while. Though, though you're not, you're not gonna know how long I was in. I can tell you that was just about two thirty. So I'll be back. I'm back. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff. It's been like 163 bucks. But some of the items were rather pricey. You'll see when I show you what I bought. Whew. Well, what was I going to say? But I made it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's exhausting. Oh, so where did I go? It's almost an hour I was in there. I'll probably get home and remember, oh, I forgot to get such and such, but I remember to get what Pop wanted, wanted me to get, and that was eggs <laughs> and vodka. <laughs> There's where a bunch of the money went for the, not the vodka, the eggs. <laughs> so we're gonna go home. Oh, I know what I was going to say. <laughs> the cart I got after I got it out and uh, um, sprayed the handle down, started to walk. Some real tight tires. Were, oh, oh. Should I go back and get another one? But then I thought, well, no. It'll give my arms a good workout. And it did. <laughs> I mean, there's ways you can get, you know, uh, exercise without having to go to a gym. <laughs> Just go to a store. Oh, man. So, I'm going to be home before 4 o'clock. That's good. Give me time to do these videos. Let's see. Can I go down this way? Why do they... Oh, they have a block because they did that sidewalk. I'm sure wish they put up a sign of what they're they're building in that lot. We're all wondering. Let's see, are these guys all gonna turn in, you think? Well one put their turn signal on. Two didn't turn their turn signal on. Three didn't turn it on. <laughs> what can you do, you know? See my girl, she'll be happy to see me. And so will my man. Because I've told you the whole time I'm out, he's worrying about me. <laughs> and rightfully so. But so far I've only fallen once this year, and it's in the first three months. Uh, no, 
I did actually have to catch myself a few times because I get, you know, kind of really dizzy. I bought uh, one of those ear cleaner things because I thought maybe it's, you know, on my ears. <laughs> Why I'm so... Uh, well, before I mention it to the doctor, when I go, it'll probably be, be in June by the time I can get in, June or July. I'll see if I do, if I can try this stuff. Whew. We're gonna build all kinds of homes over in this whole side. It's all cleared up, ready to start putting down what they need to put. So much building on going down over here in the foothills area. Actually, it's not quite to the foothills. It's more in the middle <laughs> between it. Between the foothills and the older parts of town. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting when we come back next uh, well, in October, early November to see what they've built. I mean, and we're talking regular houses, you know, that cost money, a lot of money, not like a manufactured home like we bought. We're talking regular houses. And they've really built up the area. But they are reasonably priced homes. I know that. <laughs> you know, the 300s, which is probably not reasonably priced to some, but when you compare it to the prices that we have up at home where you live, they're a lot more reasonable. Let's see what are they doing here? They still have. When I left, they had cones up and stuff. That's where we turned in, but it looks like they moved it over to the middle of the street. Oh, they're picking them up. It looks like now too. Okay, guys. Yeah, he's picking them up. I don't know what they were doing, but said he was going to take care of getting the mail, so I won't go down that way. We're really not getting much in the mail at all, <laughs> because I already forwarded a lot of my uh, subscription boxes, you know, the ones I belong to, so... Yeah. Some of them will come this month, and then the following month, they shouldn't come. So we'll see. Well, did I just see you can't run across the street? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, we're getting to the end. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Not sure if I'll do one next week. I don't know. We'll see. It just depends on if I need stuff. Which none of it I need. <laughs> except the food stuff. So please uh, do your job and comment, share, like, and subscribe. <laughs> you know, that, that part's all memorized. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful week. This is midweek that I'm doing it, or Wednesday. So uh, take good care of yourselves. I love you all. Bye. <laughs>